I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, MHS. I'm Aiden. And I'm Nick. And these are your daily, daily announcements. announcements. Sign up for Model UN's conference, CIMUN, in downtown Chicago closes tomorrow. Sign up via My Payments Plus. Everyone is welcome to the trip. No previous Model UN experience is required. And join them for four days in downtown Chicago. The theme for this weekend's MHS hockey game versus Madison West is We Skate for Jack. Come on down to Capital Ice Arena on Saturday to cheer on the cards and honor Jack Miller. Game time is 7.45 p.m. MHS Real Estate Club is doing an advisory competition to collect supplies for the Road Home Dane County, a nonprofit organization that helps homeless Dane County families find permanent housing. We are accepting donations of products as toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies, and laundry detergent. Donations will be collected during advisory on Monday, December 20th, and the winning advisor will be awarded with a pizza party on Tuesday, December 21st. Advisors should check their emails for a Google sign-up sheet, and for more information, questions can be sent to Middleton Real Estate Club at gmail.com. Amnesty International is meeting today during ASR2. They will be doing Right for Rights, where they send emails and letters to government officials internationally, as well as working on their plans and stickers fundraiser. Come to room 2003 tomorrow morning at 7.30 for Creative Writing Club's next meeting. Bring an open mind and something to write with. Do you think you've lost something? And are you hoping to find it? Check out the Lost and Found collection in the Capella reception area on the first floor. And hurry, because it's all being donated next Monday. That's it from us, but stay tuned for another video announcement. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. I was creative writing in a part of my life. Art. Indeed. My life. I love it because it's such an adventure for me. I don't fancy myself a writer in that way. I can completely appreciate um, authors that do an amazing job. I really like to write creatively for other people, especially um, young people, because you can actually create a whole different world for them. Um, to try and create a world that is exploring things that we take for granted and trying to just be whimsical and pull together some neat characters that make me think of the person I'm writing for. Something to make their lives fun and better and more exciting or more surprising. It's kind of like one of those things that's like always stuck with me. Now on this day and age. I think if more people wrote creatively or just took like five minutes a day, there would be more introspection among all of us to just process our thoughts. I find it really helpful to take a little bit of time to take abstract thoughts and put them into um, paper, which makes things more concrete and easier to analyze and understand what's going on. Creative writing means a lot to me, considering I've been doing it for most of the pandemic. Creative writing is really sort of just an expression. It doesn't matter what it is. You're just trying to put words into a piece of paper. It was kind of like my coping skill during the pandemic. A way to release your emotions. <laughs> it's a great way for me to express my feelings and thoughts in a way that I can't just normally. It's really just an outlet for most people, especially for me. <laughs> like you're trying to write ideas, Corey's thoughts, and it may not make sense to you, but it'll make sense to the next person. I really like a freestyle type of writing with like rhyme and all that stuff, like spoken word, poetry. <laughs> See, for me, I personally love novels. There's death, murder, intrigue. That is what good creative writing is. I mostly like script writing. Uh, I just say writing novels. I just like writing long stories, short stories, just basically around that kind of area. I'm really grateful for a creative writing club where I get to like share my work with people and meet some other writers in the community.